Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? So, I wanted to, I've wanted i been wanting to make this video so long. I've been dragging my feet on this. It's Sunday. It's a rainy day. I'm about to go hang out uh, with my girl, uh, check on my dad and stuff. But uh, what I wanted to say is um, this pretty much this whole year I've been, like, battling with just feeling lost. I'm, I'm uh, in my 30s. Not going to be 30 in my 30s too long you know, but I'm in my thirties and I know a lot of people that's 30 something or older. We get kind of beat down mentally, feeling lost. You know, you're probably, if you're in your thirties, you're probably at some job and you're not, probably not sure if this is like, this is it, this is going to be your career path or if like it's something better out there job wise and the economy's kind of trash right now. You don't really want to just quit your job and follow your dreams, whether that be a content creator or musician or what, whatever your your dream is. You know, it's kind of with, with how the climate is in this world, in this economy, you kind of just want to hunker down, just kind of take care of your money, uh, save and be responsible as possible. But all that to say, like, you know, sometimes you just feel like you're a hamster on a hamster wheel. You're not making much progress. You're just going in circles and you just feel lost. You know, me personally, I struggle. I struggle with depression really bad, you know, and when you when you struggle with depression, this is a key sign that you struggle with depression is isolation isolation like it's so big like you know when you isolate yourself and stop talking to your friends uh make excuses not to hang out with your friends not to hang out with your family yeah all that stuff like that that's just a telltale sign i know that was a big one for me like when i get down i just push people away that's just my go-to you know whether it's my best friend whether it's family it's just like I just want to be alone. And then that just keeps you in that dark place. And I just been trying to unlearn that bad habit for so long. So I just, you know, this video is just for people that's kind of like me. You know, you don't have to be 30 some. You could be 20 some, 18. You know, if you're going through a rough time, just know that like lean into your friends, lean into your family lean into loved ones, your spouse, just lean into people that care about you and love you, even when it feels uncomfortable. Because that's that's another thing, like when you're depressed and you're down and out, the vibe is off. Nothing really feels good. Nothing, you could be at a party, it's, you're, it's not gonna feel right. You can be at a club, it's not going to feel right. You can be at dinner with somebody, it's not going to feel right. Uh, just because you're not in a good headspace. I just want to tell people that it is a light at the end of the tunnel. It is a way out of that dark space. And, um, you know, and, and it starts with kind of leaning into your friends and being around love, being around your support system. I know a lot of people is like, uh, yeah, but... I feel like I'm all alone. And in a way, everybody's alone. You know, you live, you die alone. You know, yeah. Yeah, you are alone to a certain degree. But and on the same token, you're not alone. It's people that love you, people that care about you. You know, and I feel like a lot of times we spend so much time uh, working at our nine to five, working at jobs, you know, and it's not, you don't feel the love there because everybody's just there to get a check, clock in, clock out. People really don't know each other. You know, your coworkers are kind of your friends, but at the end of the day, they don't really, they don't really know you that well. So you can't really lean on them as much as you might need to, because you might be going through a rough time. You might need to talk to somebody. And when you're spending 80 90 percent of your life at your job you're naturally going to want to like open up the people at your job and then you got to realize 
they're just there for a check. So that's what I mean by leaning into your family, your friends. And then you might say, hey, I don't have any friends. I don't have any family. What used to help me a lot is leaning into strangers online. People that, and I mean strangers were like, it's people that I don't know in real life, but I know them online. And we like built like a rapport and a friendship. You never know. Those people, a lot of times those people are the same people that buy merch and help you out when you're trying to sell something, when you're trying to, uh, if you're a musician, you're trying to support support yourself with your dreams they're the type of people that would purchase your album or or look at your youtube video or you know if you're even for the uh, women out there you selling makeup or or whatever they, they'll come out and support you whether you're selling meals cooking for people it'll be complete strangers show up and support you so don't well i say that to say don't sleep on strangers don't sleep on people that uh that you don't know that you might have never met in person those might be the the people that save your life when you're down and out and you feel hopeless so i don't i don't want to make this video too long i'm gonna try to cut it at about seven minutes uh, i'll probably do a part two of this i feel like this is really therapeutic for me especially because i mean my videos don't get tons of views so this is really just therapy for me but um yeah comment let me know if if you know if you ever dealt with something like that isolating yourself from your friends and stuff and um and you were in a dark place tell me how you got out of being in a dark place all right peace